Hello everyone. Today is uh, January 14th, 2023. It's uh, Saturday and it's 12.13, so midday here in the East Coast. Um, well, thank you for uh, watching this video. My, the idea is to review what the markets did during last week. Uh, also, um, to understand if we can um, generate a sort of bias uh, facing next week and see how we can um, you know uh, face this uh, this uh, um, markets uh, there are four markets I uh, trade the uh, ES GC uh, NQ and CL and this is our these are intraday uh, trades uh, in futures so that is what I'm gonna review um, today basically so let's um, le le let me remind you before I get started, let me remind you to join my Discord channel. Um, you can find that in the description of uh, the this um, uh, video and also you there are some links to uh, Apex uh, uh, Trader. They, they uh, do have a 80% discount through the whole next week until I believe it's Monday next week and uh, so you can get 80% discount on the uh, first month and also the recurrent month uh, monthly um, fee let's say it's uh, it's 80% uh, discount also so it's a good option to to get it now I uh, be very careful to acquire those um, if you don't know what you're doing in the market, I mean, the the, the, the more you co your confident uh, uh, feel, the the more I would recommend you to to do that. Basically, uh, you know, if you uh, don't have a plan, if you don't know how to trade, this is probably a waste of money. What they want to see is consistency. They want to see that you have the rules, that you know how to manage uh, profits, they, that they know how to manage. Um, uh, how to manage uh, losses so um, so basically if you are if you are uh, doing this one in in a randomly way uh, probably is not a good idea so um, yeah take it take it like like that so um, the the there is a uh, coupon that you need to use to get this 80 percent uh, discount and it's in the description of this channel there's a uh, or, or this uh, video the uh, link uh, there's a link directly to the to the um, to the uh, coupon and there's a coupon also outlined there in the description okay let's uh, get started then uh, we are going to start with ES uh, I do have in in here uh, this uh, um, this is the these are the four markets I, I trade and there's I, I added also the bonds uh, down here so we are going to analyze the six of them okay so um, let's start with ES uh, you you see that uh, ES uh, during this this is the the daily uh, what, what i'm gonna do is to is to go with the weekly first uh this one it's uh it's up here okay so i'm gonna expand this um and maximize it okay so basically you see that uh, uh, uh first week of first week of um january came here um, on the third I believe that was the third the first uh, week and then the second week there a big uh, bullish candle moving to the upside that this is not uh, a, a, um, a surprising week um, just because of the formation of the previous candles you have here a couple of things that I would uh, like to to point out this one here and that one here is a double dodgy uh, and it's uh, forms uh, in in the bottom of uh, of uh, a, a, a move um, I don't want to say a trend because it, it at, at this point is forming the first um, the first uh, a higher low uh, off of that one right and it has not passed the the the, the um, this uh, area here which is 
the uh, a previous high if we pass this one here then we have a higher uh, a higher high um, comparing that one here with uh, with probably the one that is going to to move up right so um, this is the formation here you have that and then you have this and then you have that which is uh, which could be a reversal uh, trend now there's a lot of resistance um, uh, above it and, and especially because this one is a is a weekly uh, candle we would need to respect that so um, interesting things happens this week uh, the, the, this one here is crossing the uh, yellow line which is the 30 days simple moving average so that this week uh, it, it moves above and it moves in positive momentum here you have here the MACD uh, and the MACD histogram is telling us that it's um, it's uh, bullish so it is short term short term bullish I think that I mentioned this before but we did have also a uh, in, in a previous video we do have also a um, a divergence here moving to the upside there and then we have a lower a lower high right here so that is that a lower low so that is a, a divergence higher higher low here and in lower high right there so yeah it, we could say that the, that the market was actually 10 days uh, 13 days of of uh, range here but then you if you see in the big picture on the weeklies you see that there is a, a double uh, doji there with a hammer followed so that one w was um, a good formation for a move to the upside okay so I don't want to go that technical but uh, but if you read if you know a couple of of, uh, of these um, uh, candles formations and patterns you can pro probably uh, identify what what is going to happen so um, um, and, and it, it's also about probabilities it's not that that it's for sure that this this was going to happen but uh, the, the probabilities were good now that we are above this uh, this uh, line here then market should do something uh, or or this uh, this uh, su uh, resistance now becomes as a, a support line so we do have support at this this level um, I would expect um, you know my bias is is uh, positive it's uh, it's uh, bullish now there is a um, there is a line here which is uh, one of the indicators I use is this one is a trend line and it's moving down and we are right at the trend line here but this one is a bull, very bullish candle we would see if this one continues to move higher and crosses this this uh, um, this uh, trend line or it's going to you know bounce and, and, and rejected it and then if, if it bounce there the next uh, resistance level it's going to be this uh, this uh, channel and this channel is, is uh, I, I, I painted from here to here and then the parallel from there um, sorry from there to there right so that is the channel I'm looking if you see that one um, this channel comes uh, from this high making this low making this now it's coming here could go there and then bounce back down that 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 could be one of the alternatives right and then the other one is that breaks this one and, and keeps moving higher and then you have here another uh, resistance level which is also a an important one um, because it's formed by um, let me let me uh, get rid of all of these drawings so basically you get um, you know a top right there and a top right there those are are, are uh, you know pivots this one is not very strong uh, but uh, but uh, you know you have double dot two, two pivots there that could be the next uh, resistance right there and if it go it keeps going then you have another pivot that that it's up here ba in on this on this um, uh, line um, and so on so um, we'll see now momentum is to the to the upside and uh, and uh, uh, the the um, 
um, candle is very bullish so we'll see if uh, if uh, we have but my 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 I would say that th this week should be at least uh, should cross this uh, trend line and then move probably back and, and, and revisit it we'll see okay um, let's go uh, I'm gonna keep uh, with the ES and I'm gonna uh, check what the what the um, what the um, daily is doing and for for looking at the daily there are a couple of things that I, I, I look one one is the um, opening range so the first day of the range of the uh, the range of the first day basically so which is this one and that one this is the first day um, you have the top right here and the bottom right there at uh, 3906.75 is the top and it was it was um, uh, you know um, Transpassed, let's say. So it, it moved up uh, again. We are above the 30 days uh, simple moving average and also above the um, uh, 10 day moving average. Now, this one here, it's about to cross, and you know what it, what happened when it crosses, it gets more more bullish. So, uh, like in here, it crossed, and we 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 saw that uh, that the market started to go to go down. The 10 days moving average is below the thir the 30 so we expect a downwards uh, move now um, in here you have another crossing right there that that one result in a, in a bullish move uh, and then here a bearish move right there which, which was a, a lot of consolidation that that's true so uh, that one there is the 13 days of consolidation in this area that happened recently and then uh, once it broke and it now it's about to you know um, the moving averages are about to cross I used to put a, a narrow in each in each of these uh, crosses just to make sure that I identify them um, don't do it in, anymore but uh, but that that would be a good idea in the short term you see that this is the trend line that it's uh, dominating the um, the downwards now it's facing here you do have uh, let's see if we see some formations here that that are interesting so this one would be a continuation pattern I would say um, so that candle there is a uh, hammer but it's made um you know uh, besides a doji let, let's put it that way so that uh, previous candle here it's a um, you know it's a bullish um continuation um, um uh, candle um there was here a a reversal uh, in this day but uh, it didn't it didn't last it came back right back back at it and then you have here the move the stochastics moving to the to the upside so let's uh, check what the um, um, MACD I'm sorry it was the stochastic or it was the MACD uh, yeah this one was the MACD I said the stochastic because I, I was uh, thinking that I was going to to review this so this one is the the stochastics right here so you 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 have positive stochastics you have positive um, uh, uh, momentum in the MACD uh, decent volume uh, not 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 that much with average let's say there was a, a that this day it's about above average but here you do have a cross of the moving average right there so that that one is is bullish in the short term for me there as I said um, you know so uh, in the in the daily I would say that it, if this one managed to cross above you could go even to that uh, to that uh, trend up here if you are able to pass all of these resistance uh, areas that you have uh, above it. So we'll see. Um, it's now at uh, 20, uh, 40, uh, 19. Um, at forty nineteen, and I would say that we can have a. Um, a good resistance level above this area at around 4100 so I think that there's still room to move to the upside uh, we, we will see if uh, if if we can if we can get there 
all right so uh, let's move to the next one which is uh, gold gold has had a really nice run let's go and visit and check the day the um, uh, let's see what is that the, the, the weeklies okay so we have this one here I do have the um, the Fibonacci retracement going from the top here to the bottom and then you see that it went um, all the way to the 50 it, it went down and then went move all the way to the 50 um, to the 50 percent retracement which is uh, right there right so it went there it managed to to break it and now it's heading it's heading up um, resistance i would say that there's a resistance line right there um there was a resistance here as well that was uh, passed uh this week and we'll see how much more this one would go i would say that this one well it, it is very strong uh it's moving um that direction it's going to do a couple of things here to to keep moving but i i think that uh that uh gold is uh, looking very bullish now um, if we use, uh, uh, let's see, I'm going to try to, I do, I do have a different tool in, so let's take uh, this range here and put the zero line there. So 200 is right there, that level is uh 1998 so i would say that there's a good my bias would be to look at this line here and look for a 2000 uh level i would say that that would be that would be somewhat realistic or they, there's a high probability that it's going to go that way so that is the weekly yes yeah, so um you have um, bullish momentum in the MACD and uh, let's uh, review the daily so the daily here we do have bullish uh, MACD bullish uh, stochastics it's a little bit weaker here but it's still positive right and then you have nice nice volume right there so uh yeah the the weeklies the the dailies are looking good two strong candles uh the last two days um and uh and and it's keep moving and that would be the target right here uh 1964 on the dailies and i said 2000 in the weeklies which which uh, it is very close to that top right here right and um and uh, so that is considering the the the, the weekly uh, range that we were looking in this other chart right here okay so um that would be uh gold uh, also if we pay attention to our um daily uh, first day uh, range you 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 are above it so um there's a, a move to the upside right there and especially after this long compression area right here that even lasts to all the way to to this uh, day right here so um yeah it's looking looking good looking to the upside and uh, that, that so my bias is uh positive so um all right so let's go now to nq so in nq uh let's uh go back nq i'm looking at the monthlies um then uh, okay in nq let's look at the um weeklies so nq it's a little bit weak than uh es right um so do, do, do. so let uh, let's see in es we have this uh, this formation here. It's consolidating and made an, another a, 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 a higher uh, low right here. While in NQ, we are just forming those two weekly um, 
uh, candles. They are somewhat bullish. They are very close to the um, to the lows here. Uh, and if we paint, uh, let's uh, do a let's do a um, line right there. See, we are undecided. We we are not really above the uh, moving averages yet. Um, we are not uh, so the the thirty, and uh, we are just crossing the uh, uh, ten uh, simple day moving average. So um, yeah, I would say that we are um, we, there's a good potential to go up right but still we are below this moving averages so we would be in, uh, i would be in neutral and with uh, with this resistance up my target would be probably around the 12000 for now and then and then see from there what it does it looks like a higher low uh in the pivots so you you see here you have market coming down coming down making a, a, a higher low and then if it goes above this line then we could have a move to the upside we'll see um, so let's uh, look at the dailies here and in the dailies we are above uh, let me put it there okay so you see that the big picture right so um, it's coming down made a, a, a lower high and then um, making a, a a maybe maybe this uh, chart is too busy but I'm gonna leave it like that um, so let's uh, take that one and connect it with that one there's uh, some room to go up still uh, and I'm gonna put them um, a little bit of more um, time let's put uh, here two years and now let's connect that channel to that channel to that pivot there okay so yeah there's a still room to go to the upside here um, so you see that there is a downtrend um, uh, trend line there and, uh, and and we will face that uh, that uh, um, that resistance there 50 50 percent it's uh, it's uh, right here so that is a 50 percent line NQ has a lot, a lot more work to do to 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 look bullish to me at least. Um, there's a, the candles though are indicating that they are moving to the upside. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six candles in a row that are green, which is a really good uh, sign for for bullish uh, for the bullish case. And here we do have stochastics. Um, um, stochastics also uh, to the upside momentum and uh, and uh, volume i would say that it's reasonable it's not uh, it it's not a uh, high but you have one day here which is this day here that was uh, also um, the, when when it was crossing the the moving average on the daily so in the daily yes we are doing the we're doing the um, we're above the uh, 30 days and we are above the uh, in the in we are above the uh, 10 days uh, it's it has not crossed yet uh, but it seems that it's going to so we'll see if it's able to um, to go above this um, this uh, resistance level on the 38.2 to move to the to the um, 50 but 12 12,000 would be a nice uh, good target uh, short term um, and then find this resistance level here and see decide what it's going to do on the dailies. Uh, crude. Okay, let's go to the weekly some crude again. Uh, is this a weekly? Yes. <coughs> so on the weeklies what is it doing here so you do have 
a you see here there is a pivot and there's another pivot right right there right and you have stochastics or I'm sorry um, MACD in a, in a lower or higher than the previous that the previous um, um, formation here so this one is upside when you see this this is called divergence so you you do have divergence uh, facing the month the weeklies and this is a bullish divergence right because the MACD is indicating that it's uh, going to move to the upside so at least it's going to take uh, to take that uh, um, it is going to go to that moving average there and it could go even higher right so um, there is a trend line resistance here on the weeklies and uh, the, the, um, if we see the formation we do have this that this it's only one candle but I could consider this one because of the of the um, MACD divergence that we could go and break that top here and move to the to the upside and one one other thing so you you do have in this channel you do have one one two three four five six seven eight candles and then you have one two three four five of them are um, are uh, green so that could be another another indication that uh, that it's it's about to move to the upside at least in the short term um, I've been bullish for a while in in uh, in crude and uh, and and obviously I was uh, a little bit wrong in this move down here but I think that it's going to to, to start breaking up because of this uh, divergence uh, let's see on the dailies so on the dailies you see that there are oh, a lot of a lot of uh, noise in this here so let, so we are we were in a in a downtrend right so you see that uh, that uh, a channel right here so this one is a downtrend channel uh, formed by these two extremes um, so you have this is the first uh, or the first touch second touch third touch almost four touch and five and then in the other side you do have nothing until here right so this is actually the first touch came back down second touch and then now it's violating it to the upside so that's another argument why i i would say that uh, uh go uh, crude is going to go to the upside it violated the um the trend um the channel um and, and now it's moving to the to the upside you have bullish momentum in the MACD and bullish momentum <coughs> excuse me in the stochastic when this happens this one is very nice you have the same day you have uh, it was the same day I, I believe so the same day it cross when it crosses the 30 days uh, moving average it crossed also the uh, stochastics uh, or the MACD and also the stochastics so this is a really good bullish sign that it's going to uh, that that it's going to continue the move to the upside so I would my bias now is um, uh, crude um, moving to the upside okay so um, yeah looks good let's see uh, bonds so this one is the um, a 10 year um, 10 year uh, US uh, Treasury notes and then what you do see here is a long move I'm mean, saying not the long move it's a short move but in the long long term so it's been falling right uh, on the weeklies for quite a while there was an attempt here to cross uh, and but then then failed and came back down so we do have here uh, momentum to the downside now if you see there is 
market was coming down here oh I'm sorry um, you see it was coming down here right and now make a um, a lower high came back down again make a lower a, a lower low a lower high now came back down to this level and it seems that wants to go to the upside <coughs> on the on the weeklies we'll see there's uh, some resistance it failed to break uh, the the um, 30 week moving average there but it's uh, it's in between the 30 and the 10 a weak moving average so I would say that that at this point I'm ne neutral it has to prove that it can come uh, up let, let, let's open here a little bit more and then we see that we will see if this this one here is actually a trend reversal breakout to the to the upside now what could happen after the trend reversal which is very typical is that you can you come back here cross this line right there and then you move up come back visit it again and and made the make the um the higher the higher high after this one this one retraced but this one now that it's that it, it is a it's uh, it is a, a a resistance could become a support later on and then uh, a, you know help the the the, the uh, price to go up let's look at the uh, daily so on the daily um, fail it was rejected at the 115 uh, level right here so it was rejected you see how it was rejected there it's only one candle so nothing to say there you do have momentum going to the upside um, in the MACD and also the um, stochastic so uh, somewhat bullish uh, what could happen is that now the 30 the 30 days uh, moving average can uh, is, uh, serve as support especially if this one crosses if the if the green line which is the 10 crosses above the 30 the 30 so we'll see there's uh, some some uh, definitely there's uh, some support up here at 115 and we'll see if, if this one is is going to be violated or it's going to to make another <coughs> move to the downside to then revisit and, and, and move to the upside bit there we'll see it doesn't it is not clear to me I'm gonna take this uh, resistant here because it I'm gonna take the, that resistance down um, I wanna delete it right there so we do have that uh, resistance here and the next resistance next resistance level could be around this area there's a uh, plenty of room to grow in here we'll see and then the last one UB so this one here let's uh, look at the um the weeklies kind of in the same situation here we're moving to the downside in a in a channel what i do what i do in in this uh, channels is uh, drawing it like this i'm gonna remove it and draw it again so i can i can demonstrate it so you get there you you, you take this uh this uh, channel i connect that low to that low there and then go to the one in the middle right and now i say i, I can i can look for my next uh, target well in this case <clears throat> it is a counter trend right so it, and it's a daily so um i would expect i would wait for for this one to move above this area here since we do have a a higher low right there i would wait until this formation happens crosses above and my target would be somewhere around this uh, this uh, uh, area here normally I don't take <coughs> trades well first of all I don't trade UB but uh, second second I, I wouldn't take a trade if it's if if I'm too close to that line right which could happen so what uh, let, let me expand this one a little bit so let's say that the price does something like this right so it goes there comes here comes here 
goes back down and then goes so the closer you are by time to the right the closer you're going to be on that on that level if there's if you are too close i wouldn't take the the trade most people don't take trades when they are going to the opposite direction of the uh of the trend and the trend is going down so unless you have a confirmed uh trend reversal breakout that you can take a risk and 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 and, and, and run out of it then uh, then i wouldn't take uh, the trade especially if, if again if you are too close to this trend line uh down right here so because it's counter trend the trend is going to the downside right here let me i'm sorry if i'm if i'm too repetitive on this but uh, but it's uh it's a good recommendation there so all right um so we went through the four markets i wanted to review um and i wanted to revisit a couple of stocks that are doing something interesting so uh let's uh this is the fang t um um stock so we do have google and i'm gonna go very very quick on this one so google in a in an in an um a reversal uptrend here um i'm sorry i have to recover this i'm gonna put it there there so you do have Google. Google is still in the downtrend, but it managed to cross above the um, moving average in the um, in the um, dailies. And the weeklies is still in the downtrend. Uh, it's ranging, I would say, uh, forming a bearish um, a bearish um, a bear flag, right? So. Um, that one is Google. Amazon. Amazon had a very nice move over the lows here, uh, from 82, 82 all the way to 98 now. So it's moving, moving up very nicely. Uh, you see how the in the weeklies it crossed above the uh, 30 uh, simple, the the 10 simple moving average. Um, so I would say that this one. <coughs> It has still some resistance, but it's moving nicely to the upside. Let's look at the MACD and the... So this one here is the um, MACD and the stochastics. It's moving to the upside right there. Um, Tesla being hammered. It has a good reaction, but there's in the daily in the dailies, well, we do have some, um, you know, we do have uh, earnings reports uh, pretty soon within the next uh, 10 days and then you have here uh, google uh, on the 2nd of uh, february you have a uh, earnings report and amazon you do have also um, earnings on the 2nd of february so we are entering the the earnings season now um, apple on the 2nd as well so february uh, February there and uh, and Apple is is moving towards the uh, resistance of the 30 days and also bullish momentum right here in the most stochastic and in the um, in the MACD <coughs> meta Facebook moving up nicely above the moving averages so short term seems that everything is is bullish and that's why the market is uh is mo uh, uh, moving to the upside you see same behavior in nvidia microsoft and netflix so good week in general for uh the, the stock market um one thing that i wanted to show uh, is uh, is the spy uh let's see here a um, couple of uh, things that I also um, help with my bias. So SPY, you see, uh, and, and if you see previous videos, I explain how I take this. So you have the 20 um, level here on um, 
on the market forecast intermediate line and it's moving to the upside so this one is bullish it it visited the lower part that i think that 18 was the lowest and then it started to move up, back up in bullish mode so this one is a short-term bullish momentum short-term in uh, in this one is supported by the move above the uh, 30 days uh, moving average it's still in a channel so um you see here uh there is resistance right there and there is support right here so i would say that it's in a in in a channel uh it you know you you, you don't know what's going on but it's moving horizontally right there okay so that that is uh, es let's review moment um, inter, um, the intermediate market forecast bullish in gold bullish in nq bullish in cl and uh, bonds there bullish and bullish so everything looks bullish that that's good that's good all right okay so uh 40 40 minutes of uh bias uh, of bias so um all right so from here then what i would what i would uh, so we we review the dailies now uh, over, uh, through the weekend or through the week next week we should review <coughs> or you should review what <laughs> what happens <coughs> i'm sorry what happened with the 240 minutes, the 30 minutes, and uh, in in your entry charts for um, for uh, the setups that I uh, I have published in the um, in the in in my Discord channel. So um, all right. So hope you uh, got an idea of what I would be thinking next week, and um, and I wish you the best and good trades for. Uh, next week uh, Monday is a holiday um, Martin Luther, Luther King observation so um, not going to, we are not going to have the market open but uh, Tuesday we will be back and I'm, I expect to do at least a couple of uh, videos on my entries on the on the dailies and um, and um, yeah that, that would be it thank you so much for watching